15 cases. The map right here that you can see says it all. No state is trending in the right direction. 36 states, like Colorado, reporting a spike in new cases. The numbers are alarming to some health experts who say that we do not have a handle of this pandemic. It is not under control. The CDC director says that the rise in cases is due in part to small household gatherings. And with the holidays coming up, it's important to keep up with social distancing and wearing face masks. Well, now let's take a look at coronavirus cases here in Arizona. The numbers are going up. The Department of Health Services reporting 902 new cases and five new deaths. Now, the number to keep an eye out on is the R0 number, which is at 1.07 today. That's up from one on Monday. The concern is that any R0 over one, no matter how small, means a virus could spread exponentially. As we just mentioned, the cases are up. More than 6,000 new cases in just the first week of October. Today, we're focusing on two zip codes in Scottsdale that added more than 100 new cases in the first week of this month. Team Tolls Mitch Carr has a story. And Mitch, where are these two zip codes? One zip code is 85251. That includes Old Town, and that one added 43 new cases last week. The other is 85255. That is a sprawling area in North Scottsdale that includes both Greyhawk and D.C. Ranch. That one added 59 new cases last week. So out of the 197 cases that were new in Scottsdale last week, more than 100 of them came from just those two zip codes. And that puts one specific population at risk. When you think of Old Town, you may think about clubs, bars, restaurants, and people in their 20s. But both here in Old Town and up north in the 85255 zip code, the population is considerably older. I just don't like the cold winters anymore, and um, so uh, definitely look forward to it. Richard Ward is 67, and he just made his annual move from Idaho to Scottsdale for the winter. One out of five homes in Scottsdale is a seasonal home. And more than 40% of the city's population is 55 or older. That puts nearly half of the city's population at greater risk for COVID-19 at a time when many are headed here for the winter. We don't have a lot of information for why particular zip codes are spiking versus others. Dr. Bronwyn Carl Bloom is a physician at Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine. She says the uptick in these zip codes is concerning for an older population because older folks tend to have more health issues. And there are concerns about hospital capacity. Those are the people we can expect to require that hospital intervention. So we're going to be anticipating some increased stress on the hospital system. For Richard Ward, Scottsdale's warm winter beats shoveling snow in Idaho any day. Wear masks and wash your hands and socially separate to a certain extent. I don't want to get it, but I can't live in fear of it. One positive number from state statistics today is that as the positivity and the number of cases rise, the fatality rate has stayed relatively flat. According to Dr. Carl Bloom, that means we may be getting a handle on how to better treat this disease, but that doesn't mean we can take things for granted. We still need to be vigilant and do all those things to keep ourselves safe during this pandemic. In Scottsdale, Mitch Carr, 12 News. Mitch, thank you. Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett is on Capitol Hill for the third day. Today, with senators getting one more round of questions, Republicans.